Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu alaikum in my this video I am going to help you and your child to sharp mental math skills by solving some logical reasoning questions and these questions will also help you to prepare your child for SAT examinations and ISEE examinations so let's just start it and uh, at the end of this lesson, I will tell you some pro tips to attend the paper. It's a Zoom call with my student and uh, he didn't appear yet. So I just started making the video. Okay, so the, uh, the largest triangle shown below is divided into small triangles. What is the fraction of the largest triangle? Oh, sorry, what fraction of the largest triangle is shaded? 1 and 2 parts are shaded. And how many parts are there in all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are nine parts in all and how many are shaded? Two are shaded. Last time when I asked this question to one of my students, he said that there are ten triangles. He was counting the outer boundary too. But no, we never count outer boundary in fraction. I didn't ask you how many triangles are there. No, this is not the question. I asked you that how uh, this big triangle is divided into how many small triangles? This is the question. You need to understand the question. For example, see if it is a pizza and if it is divided into four pieces and one part is shaded. So we will write the fraction as one by four. Outer boundary has nothing to do with the inner pieces, with the parts and whole thing. Okay, next question. Uh, let's see its options. We, we have solved it at 2 by 9. What fraction of the largest triangle is uh, shaded? It's 2 by 9 is shaded. Okay, let's see next question. Next question is, use the diagram to answer the question. Which piece would complete the diagram to, ma to make a square? So it means that we have to make a square like this. So what do we need for it? Let me draw it nicely. We need one, two, three four on the top and a uh, one two three four on the top five six seven and eight like this so which part is this not this it is this one one two three four five six seven and eight so we'll choose this option let's move to next question Okay, next question is, Nisha and Alex were riding their bikes at the same speed on a bike path. It took Nisha 20 minutes to ride 4 miles. So what Nisha is doing, she is making 4 miles in 20 minutes. How long did it take Alex to ride 12 miles? They didn't tell uh, that how much Alex is making but at the beginning they told us that they are riding their bikes at the same speed. So you need to pick the tricky part of the question. They both are riding on the same speed. So how long did it take Alex to take uh, to ride 12 miles? Okay. She is making 4 miles in how many minutes? 20 minutes. We'll divide it. 
by 5. It means that uh, she is making 1 mile in 5 minutes. Okay? Uh, 20 are the minutes and 4 are the miles. And 4 are the miles. Okay? Now, when, after solving, we get 20 on numerator and 1 in denominator. It means that Alex is making five, uh, 1 mile in 5 minutes. So, how long did it take Alex to ride 12 miles? We will multiply 5 by 12 and we will get 60. He will make 12 miles in 60 minutes. I hope that I have, under, uh, I have explained this question well. But if you don't understand it, you can ask me in the comment section. I will explain it to you again. Next question is, which is the largest fraction? Largest fraction. So, the first one, see? Sorry. In the first one, 5 is more than half of 9. More than half of 9. Half of 9 will be 4.5. Uh, in this kind of questions, you don't have to solve each one of it, you'll just see that it is more than half. More than half. And 6 by 13, it is less than half. Less, we'll just write less than half. 7 by 15, it is also less than half. Uh, how am I telling you that it is less than half? Because uh, half of 13 is 6.5, half of 15 is 7.5, half of 17 is uh, 8.5. So it's again less than half. These fractions are less than half. Which fraction is the largest? The first one is the largest. It is like this. Let me show you with a diagram. For example, how many pieces can we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 8. And I color till 5. 5. It is more than half. More than half. I have colored more than half. Uh, sorry, 8. 8 pieces in all. By mistake, I have written uh, 6. 8 pieces in all and 5 are colored. 5 is uh, more than half of 8. Half of 8 is 4 and I have taken 5 pieces. So 5 by 8 is uh, the fraction more than half. So here the largest fraction is 5 by 9. Use the table to determine the rule. Input is triangle and output is a square. What is the rule for the function? They have asked us the rule. The rule is what first we need to observe. Two, what will we do, uh, what will we do to, with two to make it eight? We will a, uh, add six. Okay, let's see if the same rule is with other numbers as well. Seven plus six is 13. 12 plus 6 is 18, 40 plus 6 is 46. So, what is the rule for the function? It is triangle plus 6 is equals to a square. Okay? Triangle plus 6 is equals to a square. Uh, let's remove this. And let's see the options on next page. It is triangle plus C is equals to a square. Let's go to next question. Which is a value of x in the math equation 15 is equals to 3x plus 3? 
okay we need to find the value of x okay uh, one thing i want to tell you that these questions are good for grade 4 5 and 6 okay um for for grade 5 you should know how to solve maths equations in grade 4 you just start doing it and uh, by the age of grade 5 you should be good at it and uh, in grade 6 you can solve these questions as revision okay let's do it 15 whatever is written at the other side of is equals to when we will move it to the other side of is equals to we will change its sign so it is written as 15 is equals to 3 x plus 3 when we will make uh, move 3 to the other side it will have a subtraction function 15 minus 3 is equals to 3x okay it will become 12 is equals to 3x and 3 has a multiplication function with x when 3 will move to the other side it will have a division function so i will write it as 12 divided by 3 is equals to x okay divided it's 4 so which is a value of x in math equation it's 4 next question is the perimeter of a square is 8 s what is the length of one side okay the perimeter is what we get after adding outer boundaries and of a square they said of a square square means that all four sides will be equal and when you add all four sides you'll get eight so it is let's try with two plus two four five six seven eight so it means the length of each side is two two s what is the length of one side? It's 2s. And uh, if they ask you what will be the area of this square, then you will multiply 2 by 2. The, the formula for area is length into width. It will be 2 multiplied by 2 and it will be 4s squared. Whenever we write the answer for area, we should put this measuring unit as s in perimeter we don't put square on it and uh, in area we put square and in finding volume we put a cube cube okay we will do area and perimeter questions later inshallah okay these are the final tips for solving the paper Follow the directions exactly. Read all questions carefully and check your answer choices before you make your decision. You should read the questions carefully and if you don't understand the question, read it again. Again read it and finally you'll understand it. Okay, record your answers clearly and accurately on the answer sheet and pace yourself. Don't speak too much. And don't spend too much time on one question. If you'll spend too much time on one question, then you'll have very little time left for other questions. And uh, keep in mind that each question, most of the times, each question uh, holds the same marks. Like if you are spending uh, too much time on question number one, and it is for five marks and you are not paying attention to second question it is also for five marks if you are feeling the first one difficult then move to the next one don't spend too much time on one question and don't don't speed through carelessly you should solve the questions carefully read the questions carefully and then solve them 
If you stuck on a question, skip it and return to it later if you have time. And next tip is if you are in doubt, make an educated guess. Don't leave the answer sheet blank for that question. At least make a guess. Don't leave any question blank. At least you should try. There is no harm in trying. So try. And uh, all right, that's it. Now you can take a deep breath and uh, relax and good luck. I'll see you in next video. I love this.